My name is Norman Patterson, Norman Harold Patterson Jr. and I'm a Christian evangelist. I uh, am also the founder of the Connecticut Foundation to Abolish Abortion. This foundation is dedicated to abolishing abortion. There used to be an abolitionist, remember an abolitionist that, that stopped, helped stop the slave trade. And there were slaves because they did not believe that slaves are human beings. And we live in an age right now when they do not believe that babies in the womb. How long do you want me to go? I'm like seven minutes. So okay, that's it. because we don't believe that babies in the womb are human beings. And so an abolitionist calls out on behalf of those who have no voice. So I'm standing in front of Planned Parenthood. They murder babies, this is slaughter day, but they also hand out the pills that terminate pregnancies. Babies are made in the image of God. They deserve life and they deserve, uh, they deserve protection. And so I am all about protecting babies and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ that you could be forgiven of your sins through Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what your sin is. Even if it's the sin of abortion, the sin of murder, Christ can and will forgive you. God bless you all. And God bless you, my brother, for letting me do this. So if I can ask a, a, just yeah, a few please. questions here. Absolutely. So I found it very fascinating. You're out here brave, very bravely yeah. out here uh, and uh, just preaching something that you believe in. Yeah. Uh, what have you seen anything personally that that motivated you to to come out here? Well, you know, for fight? I was a pastor for years, and I never, yeah. you know, I was against abortion, but I never did anything about it. But I, I, the Lord has convicted my heart that everybody's silent, and we have been kowtowed into silence. Pastors don't talk anymore. Where are the pastors? Christians? There was a March for Life in Hartford, right? Thousands of people. Where are they? They all come out for one event, they march around Bushnell Park, but they're all gone. It's not enough just to be against abortion with your voice. you got to stand against it. So that's what I'm doing and, and going into the legislature, testifying and telling my legislatures, you've got to end abortion now. So Christians are too quiet and pastors have lost their backbone. So it's about time for pastors to get off their easy chair, get out of the pulpit, get into the street, get in front of these clinics and start saving babies. Because babies really are being slaughtered here. They take their little bodies, they go up inside and they chop these little babies up to bits. Or they, the woman takes a poison and, and then it, it comes out of her body and it kills that little baby. And we don't believe it, but that's what's happening, the Holocaust. Just like worse than the, the Holocaust yeah. in Germany. That is so powerful. And uh, I'm sure, it, I mean, you, you, know, you come across very intelligent. Mm -hmm. and you're aware that they have been, they've been caught, Planned Parenthood, selling, uh, yeah. body, selling parts. body parts. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah nobody Of cares. the babies, harvesting yeah. body parts. Yeah. yeah. So coupled with that, do you think that they have an incentive to keep this going? Huh. That's just... The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. And underneath this is a demonic money-making scheme. It is from the pit of hell. And I'm going to say this. Notice where they put Planned Parenthood. They don't put it in a nice affluent white part of West Hartford. They bring it down to Elmwood because Margaret Sanger, who started Planned Parenthood, Sanger. was a racist. Deeply and her racist. goal was to kill as many babies. And the lady was right here a little while ago. She's gone. I have mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel. You know what she said to me? What did she my say? My life's goal is to kill as many babies as possible. You could go on my YouTube channel, Norman Patterson Jr., and find it. It's a couple of videos back. You'll hear her say, my life's goal is to kill as many babies as possible. That's the spirit behind Planned Parenthood oh and abortion. I'm going, I'm going to link your YouTube Thank in you. this video down below. I it's all about. That. I'm working to spread to spread the truth. Yeah, my wonderful. Channel, that's, Tell me your name again. My name is Dominique. Dominique. God bless you, Dominique. Yes. I'm really God bless glad you. you're doing that too. I and saw you and I, you know, in my spirit, just said, I'm going to come here and, and talk to this man and wonderful. do wonderful. my part to get this yeah, message out. Yeah, people think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. You know what? If, if, you know, I was at the Right to Life the other day and I got out and I said, babies are being murdered here. And they thought I was crazy, but babies are being murdered. It's crazy Literally. to be laughing. Ha, ha, ha. You know, joking around, having a nice little picnic on the state capitol lawn while there's a slaughter. Could you imagine if across the way they were, they were mm -hmm. clubbing little babies to death? We'd all be shocked, right? And, I, and if I was going, they're clubbing babies across the street. You got to stop them. It'd be like, that man is sane. But because we don't see the sin of abortion, we don't realize how horrific 
an awful and terribly yeah. sick for it, it really is literally horrific. Just the act of what they do, they, they, they stick, scramble up the baby, vacuum it out like it was nothing more than a parasite. That, that, well, women are being taught in college that babies are parasites, and that's a terrible thing. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an awful thing that's happening. It truly is. I, I completely agree. And, you know, just seeing people like yourself out here yeah. preaching yeah. this message is so refreshing. Yeah, yeah, because I'm preaching both the gospel and abolition. You know, I'm telling the people in there, the mm. lady came out here that said that she was going to kill as many babies in her life go, but I told her about the love of God wow. and Jesus Christ, that she hasn't committed any sin that can't be forgiven, right? So there's yeah. always hope for us while we're still breathing, and that's while really still important. Breathing. Okay. Yeah that we hear that message, both of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the law of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and how we can end this. So I'm a modern day abolitionist. So. That is, it is so, it's so wonderful to see someone just so like, with, uh, with such fire in them, but something that is just based in, in pure truth. You know, there's a man named Francis Schaeffer. Yes. He's a Christian philosopher, and Francis Schaeffer said, Back in the 80s, 70s, 80s, he said, every abortion clinic should have a sign in front of it that says, open by permission of the church. And what he means by that is, hmm. like all those people there at the March for Life, where are they? Where are they? they? If we should be surrounding these abortion clinics, calling out to these women, and this is what's happening also, is that people portray women who are committing abortions as victims they are not victims unless they're really being coerced which doesn't happen it may happen but a woman who willfully goes into this this a clinic and kills her baby is a murderer and so part of the abolition is that abortion must be criminalized so that all who commit the the murder all who help maybe it's the man coercing the woman to get an abortion and the yeah. abortion people themselves will all be tried as murderers. They are murderers if they kill a baby outside of the womb. Why would they not be tried for those that are inside of the womb? It's it's yeah. insanity. It's, it's it's sick, really, yeah. what, what a lot of these people are preaching. And, and I'm usually, I'm, I'm very conservative. I look at both sides of the issue. But there's no no way to justify a lot of what they are talking about. There's no way. You know, no. in slavery times, they didn't believe that black people were human beings. And so they passed laws to keep them enslaved. In, the, in Nazi Germany, they did not believe that Jews were human beings, so they passed laws to exterminate Jews. In our day, we do not believe babies in the womb are human beings, and so we passed laws to protect the murder of babies in the womb. It's the same insanity. People nowadays are like, oh, if I was back in the slavery days, I would have spoke against slavery. No, you wouldn't. No, they would if you're not, not out here speaking against abortion right now then you would not have been there and you would not have been in Nazi Germany or in the Soviet Union or any mm -hmm. other place where the Holocaust would happen. 